Hi, I'm Gerald and today we're going to demonstrate how to connect a Windows 7 workstation to a shared folder on Windows Server 2012 and to a shared folder on Ubuntu Server. We will also attempt to connect to the Apache web server on the Ubuntu Server to verify that it is working correctly. The first task is to connect Windows 7 to the shared folder on Windows Server 2012. One of the first things that we can do is to inspect the shared permissions for the shared folder on the Windows Server. So to do that, we just go to the Windows Server 2012 virtual machine, go to our Windows Explorer, and navigate to the shared folder, and go to Properties, go to the Sharing tab, click on Advanced Sharing, click on Permissions, and here we can see which users have share permissions for this shared folder. So here we can see John Smith and John Doe both have shared permissions, which is what we want. And also here we can see the network path for the shared folder. So we can just type in server 2012 slash project A from our Windows 7 workstation to access this shared folder. Next we want to change to our Windows 7 workstation and log in as John Smith to test the access and permissions for the shared folder. Okay, now that we're logged in we can just use our Windows Explorer to navigate to our shared folder. So we can either go to network and click on server 2012 here or we can just do a slash slash server 2012 slash project A as our UNC path and right now we can see that project A is currently empty. So in order to test write access we can attempt to create a new file and we can just create a new text document and we can title it test document and we can type in something like this is a write permission test and John Smith and we can go here save it and this does save, so this shows that John Smith does have write access. Next, we can log on as John Doe to test read and write access. And we can basically do the same thing, just navigate to the shared folder. And John Doe should have read-only access, so he should be only able to read the test document. And we can see that John Doe is able to read it. it says this is a write permission test, John Smith. To test the write access, we can make a change. So we can just type in this is a change, John Doe. And we can attempt to save it. And it gives us a save as dialog box, kind of indicating that there's some issues here. So when we click save, it says access is denied. And this proves that John Doe does not have right access. And we can also do a couple of things to test this. We can go here try to create a new document and it's blocking us from creating documents and it should also block us from deleting documents and it says are you sure you want to permanently delete and it says you need permission to perform this action so this shows that John Doe does not have any type of write or modify permission for project A which is what we actually wanted for this user Next, we want to use Windows 7 to connect to the shared folder on the Ubuntu server. To do this, we can use a program called PuTTY. And I've already downloaded and installed this program. So we can just go to Programs, find the PuTTY folder, 
and open this up. And in order to use PuTTY, you just basically type in the IP address right here of the server that you want to connect to. And in our case, it's 192.168.200.3. Which is the address for our Ubuntu server. And we're connecting on port 22 and we're using the SSH connection type. And we just click open here to connect via a command line interface. And we want to log in as John Smith, first of all. And his username is J Smith. Okay, guess we might error there, so we'll just type in S U J Smith. Okay, we can see right here that it is logged in as John Smith at Ubuntu server. So the first thing we want to do is navigate to our shared folder. So we can just type in CD change directory home slash shares slash project a and do a list and there's nothing in project a project a is empty so in order to test our right access we can attempt to create a new file so in order to do that we just type in the i slash home shares slash project a slash test and we can do I for insert and just type in this is a test of right permission John And we can just type in W to write to this file. And it says that it was written. So this shows that John Smith does have write access. So now we can just quit here and do a cat command on test just to show that it did write. It says this is a test of write permission, John Smith. So it did in fact write. So next we can switch users to John Doe to test his permissions. And let's just do ls so we can see the test document is there. And we can do a cat on test to test the read permission. And we can see that John Doe does have read permissions. So this is a test of write permissions, John Smith, so can in fact read it. And we can do a VI on test to attempt to write something to this file. We can just type in this is a change, John Doe. And when we attempt to write to this file, it says can't open file for writing. So this shows that John Doe does not have write access to this file. Okay. So this shows that our user John Smith has read and write access and permissions and John Doe has read only permissions and we can actually verify this with our LSL command and for the document test we can see John Smith is the owner and the owner has rewrite groups have rewrite and the others which includes John Doe has read only And we can also navigate to our 
our shares folder and it shows us that in the project a folder root is the owner managers is the group owner and we can remember that John Smith is a man, member of the managers group so we see that the owner has read write and execute group has read write and execute and others have read and execute permissions okay next we can test the Apache server on the Ubuntu server to do that we just go to our Internet Explorer application and type in the IP address of the Apache web server and in our case it's 192.168.200.3 and this loads the default Apache 2 web page and it just says that it works so everything is working correctly so this completes the Apache web server check and the demonstration of how to access a shared folder on both Windows Server 2012 and Ubuntu Server from a Windows 7 workstation.